We're gonna give you five exercises that are gonna increase your speed and acceleration on the tennis court, and we're gonna start right now. So we need a lot of speed on the tennis court, and when we're looking at a rapid serve, or even receiving that serve, we have to have an incredible amount of acceleration. And then when we accelerate, we're also going to have to set up that next shot. So we have to decelerate, cut, get back to a position, handle that backhand, handle that forehand, and at times, we aren't going to be able to make those different shots. That's going to happen. But fortunately, we've got some key exercises that you can use to continuously improve that speed to put yourself in a better position and score some points. So speed and acceleration are really key components behind a lot of elite level training. And fortunately, when I've been to the world championships, when I was at the Olympics, I was able to study and see various different athletes in the village training. I was able to see different movement patterns that they were doing to improve their overall performance, even in the sport of tennis. So that's gonna take us into that first key exercise. And when we're looking at tennis, there's a lot of different positions that we're going to be in. We're going to be in a steep shin angle a lot of the time when we're decelerating, when we're getting out of those cuts. We're also going to be in that quarter squat position. We need to think about moving fast, okay? We want to improve that neural drive, that neural intelligence, and that takes us into technical coordination movements. And a lot of tennis players might like to avoid these exercises but I believe this exercise is absolutely phenomenal for developing overall power and overall force. It's gonna improve your neural drive. It's gonna increase your ability to have stable trunk control, dynamic trunk control. It's gonna improve your ability to even jump higher. And that exercise, the first key exercise, is going to be a hang power snatch. I'm gonna use our garage strength straps to hook up here. I'm gonna show you real easy. This is a movement that any tennis player can use. I believe tennis players are the most underrated athletes on the planet. And I've even argued in other podcasts and in past videos that every single linebacker in the entire country that plays American football should be training as a tennis player. So let's get into this hang power snatch. Let's set our grip and think about that position that we're gonna be in when we're on the court, okay? And if we're getting into that quarter squat position, we're here, okay, and we wanna light it up fast. We want to react quickly. So we can load the hamstrings, okay? We drop, boom, move quickly, okay? Drop, boom, move quickly. One more, boom, move that fast. So if we do five doubles, five triples, four triples, okay, we can rest for about a minute to a minute and a half. And we could do this with 60 to 70% of our max. We could even do this based off of an auditory command, based off of perception of a serve. That's gonna help that rapid reaction. And I would do hang power snatches throughout all phases of parabolic periodization. That means the exposure phase, the comprehension phase, the ascension phase, the summit phase, and even during the realization phase when you're peaking. It's an absolutely phenomenal exercise to increase your speed out on the court. Tennis players, please do this movement. I know you don't like squatting, you're taller. It's hard to get that full range of motion, but this movement is gonna be absolutely phenomenal for that acceleration, that deceleration, that trunk control, that speed, and that's gonna be a single leg squat. So if we get set, okay, we wanna think about planting and changing direction. And when we get set, we wanna think about squeezing in our abs and our upper back, okay? If we squeeze in our upper back, that's gonna set that stability for our shoulder girdle as well. So we get set in this position here, and we go one, two, Three. Okay, we want that full range of motion. We want to touch that knee on that garage strength single leg pad using the garage strength single leg roller. Boof, boof, boof. You can use this as an absolute strength movement. Typically, I would put this at 2A, and you can do four sets of five on each leg, four sets of three on each leg. Doing it unbroken, have that good tension throughout the trunk. It's gonna transfer really well out to the court. Now, based off of our programming, we like to set up a workout with that main explosive movement. Then we'll get into a strength exercise. Then we'll get into some accessory movements. Then we'll get into some unique plyometrics or reflexive exercise. This is how we set up our programming inside of our app, Peak Strength. So you can go in and download Peak Strength at peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store, the Apple iOS Store, and you can actually fill out that you're gonna train as a tennis player. Now, we're gonna use an accessory here, a simple kettlebell suitcase carry, okay? So we're gonna walk here, and I wanna focus on being as stable and as upright as possible. And I even like to do these backwards. 
okay? There's a lot of times on the court that we're running backwards. So we need to train that way to a point, okay? And if we do both sides, focusing on our trunk, focusing on our glutes on each side, focusing on our upper back, and train backwards. I don't understand why coaches don't do this. Okay, so we're gonna hit this forward, backward, forward, backward. You could use a 50, you could use a 70 if you're really strong. And then we're gonna pair this, okay, with an absolutely phenomenal quad building exercise. It's gonna blow up our quads. And if we think about sprinting, if we think about deceleration, if we think about acceleration, a lot of that force is developed in our quads, okay? So that's a key component. And we're gonna use a Spanish squat. Now, I realize this is a little bit of a clunky setup here that we have, but we're using our garage strength power elastic, our strength band, and what I wanna focus on is right here at the top. My quads are already lit up, okay? I'm extending my knee here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this dumbbell here, we're gonna squat, come down, push back, okay? Ooh, I can already feel that. Boom, okay? So this is a Spanish squat. Ooh, hold that locked out position, all semi-locked out, but squeezing through the quads. Boom. One more. Boom. And if you pair these two exercises together, they're absolutely phenomenal for developing that core and also developing your quads. Now, in a sport like tennis, there's a lot of complex high-speed movements. And if we're gonna be training more generalized strength, right? We did the power snatch. Okay, that can be theoretically more general, but I do believe it's gonna help you jump higher. It's gonna help you move really, really fast. Then we did the single leg squats, the kettlebell suitcase carries. We did the Spanish squats. Now we're taking all of that strength, we're piecing it together with a complex high speed movement. This is gonna be a movement that you can use to help transfer all the muscular gains into high speed firing. And that's the one big factor we've got to think about in tennis. So this is gonna be a freaking awesome exercise. We're gonna go here. It's gonna be a drop snatch to a box. Okay, so it's almost like a plyometric movement. Get set here. Okay, I wanna go drop, snatch. Just go nice and easy, first couple reps here. Drop, boom, okay? We wanna focus on the quad, focus on the glutes, focus here on catching nice and tight. And then as we build and we get through a couple different sets, let's say we're doing five doubles on each side, five triples on each side, then we can start to get a little bit more creative where we want this to drop a little bit more, catch, focus on that trunk control, drive forward. Boom, boom, okay, here, boom, boom. One more, boom, boom. Okay, so we wanna focus on good speed, good reactive ability. That's how we're gonna transfer the strength out onto the court. And we do this all inside of our app, Peak Strength. You guys can head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store, the Apple iOS Store. You can use all of these exercises today inside of your training. You can also download Peak Strength for five free workouts over a seven day time frame. The worst thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna get five free workouts. And during those seven days, you can cancel at any time. But at some point, you guys gotta start that journey to attain peak strength. Because remember, freaks, if you wanna become a champion, you've always gotta cultivate your power. Peace.